guys welcome back once again so today I am doing a beginner type of a video um, this video has been long overdue somebody has asked me for a beginner makeup sort of a tutorial or a video so finally I'm getting to do it um, in this video I want to speak about how to apply eyeshadow Usually when I do my makeup, I start with my eyebrows and I've already done an eyebrow sort of a tutorial which I'm going to link in this video somewhere. Um, I do have an updated routine, eyebrow routine and um, I just recently did it so um, hopefully I can get on here and do my updated brow routine which I saw so from another youtuber i'll get to that when i do that video so today we're going to speak about how to apply eyeshadow as i said so first and foremost um when you want to do your makeup you know perfectly or you know when you want to apply makeup and become good at it you have to buy the tools you can't want to um you know be good at applying makeup or you want your makeup to look good when you don't have the tools to do it so for eyeshadow um, I've got a few brushes here which are which I believe are a good set to begin with right um, remember I'm doing it according to how I've been doing my makeup I started with one eyeshadow brush right this is a brush that I bought from Discam. I liked, this is the color brush. I like the fact that it had two sides. Um, it's got the eyeshadow blending brush on the one side and it's got the flat fluffy brush on the other side. I don't know how, uh, what you call this brush but I usually use this side of the brush to um, apply my lid colors and then this one I use it to obviously blend my eyeshadows and apply my transition colors etc. So this was my one of my first um, brushes that I bought from Discam and I think I got it at that time I got it for about 39 Rand if I'm not mistaken. I'm, I'm not sure how much they're retailing for right now but that's how much I got it for. This brush I got from Switch Beauty. This is a blending brush that I got from Switch Beauty not so long ago. And then this brush I got from an Instagram boutique. Uh, I forgot what the name was. I'll check uh, which Instagram boutique I got this brush from. Um, so I got this one from Instagram. And then I got this brush from AliExpress. I bought a set and it came in a set, right? So you see I've got um, different types of brushes from different types of companies or different types of retailers. So you don't have to be pressurized to buy expensive type of tools or expensive type of makeup to achieve good looks, right? So you can go to the likes of AliExpress, you can order your brushes on AliExpress. I personally don't really like um, Aliexpress or Alibaba or anything of that sort because they take quite a long time to deliver in South Africa unless if they do the vendor allows you to um, pay for shipping and you can get your brushes from uh, shipped to you by DHL or you know all the other shimp shipping companies or you can go to China City alternatively because I feel like Aliexpress and China City are the same thing you can just go to China City and get your brushes immediately um, there is a youtuber that did mention that she buys her brushes from China City now which uh, range from 15 Rand so that's also a good steal I think um, or you can alternatively go to Discam or any other pharmacy stores you can buy your eyeshadow brushes from anywhere um, just be mindful of the fact that some eyeshadow brushes like this one from search beauty they do tend to be a bit rough so just be mindful of that you need to like test out your the, the beauty about going to a retail store is that you can test out and feel um, eyeshadow brushes I saw eyeshadow brushes also retailing at clicks from Wet n Wild. 
those are pretty pretty good eyeshadow brushes i went and i tested them i really liked that they are quite soft and you know they're quite good looking etc and they're very cheap as well so you can also check out at clicks um you can check out the eyeshadow brushes as well there um you must test out uh what the eyeshadow brush feels like i've got quite a variety of eyeshadow brushes my collection is still a bit small um but i do have a variety of eyeshadow brushes i know this one was a bit rough in the beginning you can see also the um bristles look a bit rough so it was a bit rough in the beginning but it's become soft for some reason and this one also was is a bit rough it's from switch beauty um so you must also check those things the density of it um i know these ones from the instagram boutique they're very very soft i um eyeshadow brushes so you must also look out for that um okay so let's get straight into um the tutorial i've already got my foundation on and my lipstick on i've done my brows as well because i'm only gonna uh demonstrate how i do my eyeshadow so it's gonna be very very basic i don't want any fall offs on my foundation from the eyeshadow so i'm just gonna put on some um translucent powder under my eyes i am going somewhere uh so i don't want any mess so okay i'm gonna um zoom in so you can see what i'm doing so first and foremost i'm going to put tape on the one eye on the one side okay sorry for the black tape I can't find the tape that I usually use we put my hair behind my ears okay so this is what I used to do when I was starting off I used to put tape on the side of my eyes um, I still do it sometimes um, to get that precise sort of a look, clean look here under my eye area. So on the other side I'm not going to put any tape, I just want to show you the difference of when you've got that tape and when you don't have the tape, um, the different sort of the look. So I'm going to start off with base. I'm going to use my Essence I Love Stage Eyeshadow Base on the one side, which is my left side. <laughs> this is my left side. And then I'm going to use my LA Girl Pro Conceal um, Concealer on the right side so that we see the difference. But I'm doing this purely to show you that it's up to you what sort of products you would prefer or would like to use so you want to apply that eyeshadow and then you can either use a beauty blender or you can use your ring finger or your middle finger to smoothen out that base. Create a clean, smooth canvas. So I usually uh, apply this base towards my eyebrows. Just past my crease area the crease area being this area right here where there is a fold on my eye
so um i used to set my eyelids with a translucent powder um i don't do it anymore because i feel like i want my eyeshadow to pop but sometimes i do set my base with um a translucent powder or a powder um on during the day when i don't want my eyeshadow to be like in your face so on this left eye i am gonna set my um base so that we see the difference so i'm setting my base with a translucent powder which i bought from signature cosmetics the same translucent powder that i put under my eyes Okay, next I'm going to go in with my eyeshadow. I'm going to start with my transition shade. Um, sometimes I do sh uh, start with my lid color, but uh, for the basis of this tutorial, I'm going to start with my transition shade because that's how I started to apply eyeshadow. Um, it makes it easy to start with a transition shade so i wanted to use predominantly pharmacy makeup for this tutorial but i realized that i don't have a lot of eyeshadows from uh, pharmacies so i'm just going to cheat a little bit for my transition shade to use my huda beauty palette um purely because i haven't used it much and then i'm going to use a shade called henna for my transition shade and then i'm going to mix it with this brown shade from my design compact eyeshadow from edgar's so first of all i'm going to pat off the excess eyeshadow of my um blending brush so that it doesn't apply too harshly so you need to be patient so that you can build up that eye look and then it comes out seeming seamlessly and flawless in the end i'm going to go in with my transition shade in my crease and uh, blend it towards my brow bone so this part remember is your crease where your eye folds and then your brow bone area is this part above your crease so where your bone is basically so i'm just gonna use circular motions from the end of my eye into the middle of my eye in circular motions towards my tear duct which is this area here go in my other eye in circular motions Okay, you can use circular motions, you can use circular motions or you can use windshield, windshield motions. I find circular motions in the um, crease to be, you know, a more effective for me. So, this is windshield motion, you can use a combination or you can just go in with circular motions like that just like that another useful tip is holding your eyeshadow brush a bit further away well quite further away from your bristles um purely because your hand doesn't become heavy when you're applying your eyeshadow rather than when you've got your hand close to the bristles then your your hand becomes quite heavy so um when your hand is heavy it becomes difficult to blend out try and hold your brush a bit further from the bristles i hope i'm explaining this properly <laughs> okay so that's our transition shade done 
so next I'm gonna go in with my lid color um, I'm going to be using my Elegal Nudes eyeshadow collection palette which is this palette um, I'm gonna use a dark brown shade shimmery shade I feel like a shimmery color today so I'm going to take a flat brush which is this brush or this brush you can also use this fluffy flat brush as well um, depending on my mood I usually use both or I use either or I guess I'll be using this brush I'm gonna take that color and pack it on to my lid So I'm just going to pack on this color on my lid, just on my lid, which is this area here, just on this area. Okay, and then I'm going to go back in with my transition shade and just blend that harsh line just softly also you don't want to over blend your eyeshadow what I like to do when I am applying my lid color is i like to reinforce with my elego pro conceal so that it gives a pop of color so i'm going to go in my lid with my la girl I'm going to pack on my lip color directly on the concealer Then I'm going to go back in with my transition shade and just blend around the crease area. Just a little bit. I just put on two shades of eyeshadow. I feel like this eye is more popping than this eye I don't know how it's showing on camera but I feel like this eye looks like it is stronger than this eyeshadow look so I'm going to remove my tape you see how that gives a clean sort of a look and then this side looks a bit more you know freestyled look but it still looks cute once you have finished off your eyeshadow look, it's going to all blend in seamlessly. So now we're going to finish off our eyeshadow application. So remember I went back in my under eye with my um, transition shade. So I'm going to do the same for this side. And then I'm going to go back in towards my waterline just above my transition shade with the dark color that I put on my eyelids. Um, and my bottom lash line. Just 
so I'm gonna use a flat brush for that so that you can just easily get into that area And that is all for the eyeshadow application process there are people that actually still go back to the bases and just um, apply two eyeshadows or even one eyeshadow um, and then just complete their eye eye look so what I'm going to do is I'm going to complete my eye look off camera and um, so that you can see how the eyeshadow blends seamlessly with you know all the other eye elements um i know that it looks quite strange right now you don't expect it to look you know hundreds at first applications don't also expect expect the eye look to look complete while you are still in the process because i know that it kind of does look strange and then you are going to doubt yourself and then you just you know gonna be on some no i don't know how to apply eyeshadow no it does look like this it is very normal and then once you have finished your you know eyeshadow application you can then finish off your eye look and then it will blend seamlessly okay guys so i'm back with the complete look so i have done my um wing line and put on some lashes and put on some mascara um so what i like to do um just to make my eyeshadow pop a little bit and make my eyes pop is that i like to go in my tear ducts with my highlighter because i've already highlighted um with the same shades that i used to highlight and a pop of a brighter color i like to go in my tear ducts so i'm just using this um pointy sort of a brush because it's precise to go in the tear duct area and i'm using my usual which is the anastasia beverly hills glow kit and I'm using hot sand, amber gold, and sun ray. So I like to just go in just in the corners of the tear duct. Towards my water uh, lower lash line. Just to make my eyes pop so that is it for my eyeshadow tutorial I hope you have learned something I hope you are revived if it has been a while since you have applied some eyeshadow and also if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel um, and turn on the notification button uh, to get more of my videos Otherwise, I'm going to see you in my next video as per usual. Bye.